five of the most unique restaurants in Puerto Vallarta. That is right. We're going to be covering everything. Food, ambiance, pricing, what we loved, what we didn't love. So if you're looking for a unique restaurant in Puerto Vallarta, this video is for you. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Yep, and if you haven't already, hit that notification bell to stay up with everything Waking Up With The Wings. For the first night, we're heading over to the Iguanas restaurant inside Casa Kimberly, which is a former home of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Where they were having an affair! Time for some tea, y'all. Actress Elizabeth Taylor accompanied actor Richard Burton to film Night of the Iguana in Puerto Vallarta back in 1963. What makes this restaurant so scandalous is that it sits inside what used to be Elizabeth Taylor's home. And Richard Burton bought the building across the street and built a bridge so that they can meet and have their affair without paparazzi knowing. So they call this place the Iguana Restaurant and Tequila Bar, and rightfully so because we had told them that we are on a mezcal kick, which we are, and they gave us two different kinds of mezcal drinks on the rocks, classic margarita, but the first one was a mezcal espadín, which is kind of normal, typical mezcal that's easy to produce. And um, the second one, which is the same way they prepared it, but they use a mezcal tobala. I learned that tobala it takes twice as long for it to mature to the smokiness that it is. I feel like if people are still in the beginning stages of mezcal, they would be like, no way. But because we are on a mezcal kick, I think we are liking it a lot. Tobala. Tobala. I was really afraid because when we get ceviche, usually the shrimp is kind of the one that it's the fishiest to me, at least the past. My past history of ceviche is this actually tastes really fresh. I mean, look how close we are to the water. I'm sure they just caught it today. And they were like, come on, shrimp. Time to make some ceviche today. <laughs> <laughs> So the top two recommendations um, for appetizers that they recommended was the squash blossoms and the chili poblano soup. We have the squash blossoms here. I'm a little unsure if, the, I, I'm guessing this is a squash and this looks like some sort of cheese that's deep fried, which I'm all for deep fried stuff. And two different kinds of salsas. It looks like a green one and a red one. So I'm gonna try the green one first. Really good. Really good. It almost tastes like a jalapeno popper. <laughs> but I love jalapeno poppers, so. We just got the second recommendation of the night the chili poblano soup. And. Now I'm wondering, is this the same sauce as the squash blossoms? Let's find out. Mystery solved, it tasted exactly the same. The star of the night was definitely the octopus. The octopus was super flavorful. The Angus filet was as well, but I think we would pass on that next time. They do have other meat options like lamb and pork, so if you're interested in any of that, they have that as well. Overall, if you're a fan of Old Hollywood or Elizabeth Taylor or Richard Burton, Casa Kimberly may just be on your list for your next vacation. While the property and view is stunning, we would probably rate the food a 7 out of 10. We would definitely recommend you visit if you want a slice of Old Hollywood in the Mexican coast. Next stop, Ocean Grill. So we are currently at Boca de Don Matlan. This is where we are um, on the concrete dock where we're instructed to come to wait for our ride to Ocean Grill. The boat over there is an Ocean Grill on it. You can't miss it. So, we're gonna get picked up. 
the one if they come on. <laughs> Whether you're staying in Nuevo Vallarta or Zona Romantica, you can catch a taxi or an Uber to Boca de Tomatlan, which is the fishing village. And when booking the reservation on TripAdvisor, the restaurant actually allows you to prepay $5 per person for a water taxi to the restaurant, which is what we did this time and it was super convenient. However, the second option, which we did last time, and we also talked about it in our top things to do in PV video, is to hike from Boca de Tomatlan to the restaurant, which can take about 45 minutes to one hour. This is definitely the more adventurous option, but you can also discover beautiful views, private beaches, and you could just continue on with this beautiful hike. We just made it over to Ocean Grill. Just got off the dock. We're gonna go upstairs and eat with a beautiful review. We have made it over here to Ocean Grill. We just got here, so we're not gonna order. We're not sure where we're gonna order yet, but definitely Here's something to the ocean. Ocean Grill is definitely more of an experience than just a restaurant. They offer three seatings a day, 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m., and they allow two hours of eating, visiting their hidden beach, Kolomoto's beach, and relaxing in this island jungle vibe of a restaurant along the edge of this beautiful cliff. The food was all really delicious, but actually a little difficult to categorize. They definitely had a ton of seafood options given how close they are to the water, but it was a mix of Asian fusion, meets American bar style food, meets Mexican food. Oh my gosh. Ribs at Ocean Grill. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow, you're eating ribs like that? What? I don't think I've ever seen anyone eat ribs with a fork. They're fall off the bone. <laughs> you do, you do. Nice play. Some of their unique features include this open air bathroom where you can truly be one with nature. And then you can also jump off a ledge where you can jump into the ocean during your reservation. Unfortunately, they don't allow kids under 10, and if you come during rough tide, then sometimes the water taxi isn't available to take you to the restaurant, so we recommend double checking the day of your reservation. Overall, Ocean Grill was such a unique experience, and we plan to visit again when the ocean is a bit more clear and during a busier season when we can join others to jump in the ocean. Honestly, it'll just give us the courage to do it ourselves. Next on our list on top unique restaurants here in Porta Vallarta is La Capella restaurant. We're on our way right now. This place is an Italian restaurant that overlooks the Banderas Bay, the city of Porta Vallarta, and uh, the iconic Guadalupe Cathedral. I'm really excited to check this place out. Every night they have live instru instrumental music, you know, fine Italian cuisine, which is very new for us because we usually get Mexican food here in GV, but we're gonna check out the Italian cuisine over at La Capella restaurant. Let's go. We just got set at La Capella restaurant and just check out this view. It's utterly breathtaking. I'm a little sweaty, but you know, we had the wise decision of walking over here all the way from Zona Romantica district. So if you decide to come here and you want to dress nice, please, please, please request an Uber or take a taxi because this place is too beautiful for you to look ugly and sweaty like I am right now. <laughs> To start off, they gave us these really nice cold towels. I think they saw us sweating because I hope they give this to everyone and not just us. But 
just smelling it, it smells very, very fresh and minty. Oh, it smells like the spa. It smells like the spa. It's really nice. Um, I'm gonna embarrass myself and put this all over my face right now, but I definitely need it. Um, and I'm gonna just freshen up before we have this gorgeous dinner. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the appetizer, which is the mussels. We got the scallops here, but I'm gonna try the mussels. Oh, it has kind of a kick to it. There's a little bit of spiciness to it. Definitely has the marinara type sauce feel to it, which is really good. Not fishy, which is really good. It means it's fresh. So that's that. Let's try the scallops now. The scallops look like um, they're made in some other kind of red type sauce. So we'll see. And I'm gonna grab some of this sun-dried tomato just to see what it tastes like with the sun-dried tomato. Really soft texture on that scallop. It's actually really, really good. Main entrees, I got the linguine with shrimp in a white wine reduction. That shrimp has so much flavor, it's so good. <laughs> Mm. It doesn't feel like I'm eating pasta in Mexico. But it is very, very, very good. I would rate this place a 10 out of 10. So now this one is the vegetarian penne. And they said there was an option to add chicken, so why not? I could really taste the mushroom flavor out of this. Chicken pairs really nicely with the penne. You can tell that um, it's not just an addition. You know, it really goes well with the penne. At this point, we are about halfway through our trip and we already knew that La Capella would be one of our top favorite restaurants. There's nothing quite like the feeling of listening to live violinists play as the sun sets over the Banderas Bay while enjoying delicious food and cocktails. La Capella takes you to the beautiful buildings of Italy and Rome and finds a way for you to escape the hustle and bustle of PV and allows you to soak in each moment of your dinner. La Capella also serves breakfast and lunch and reservations are required for any time of day. Their dress code is strictly enforced, no flip-flops, board shorts, tank tops, that sort of thing. And if cocktails aren't your thing, they have a full wine list available as well. We definitely recommend La Capella for a future date in PV, or if you're celebrating something special with loved ones. Perched over the mountains of Puerto Vallarta, the cliff provides gourmet cuisine inspired by the culinary traditions of Mexico, perfect for a romantic date. The cliff is also a venue for weddings, parties, and large gatherings as they have various private sections with outstanding views of the coast for any occasion. We are sitting at one of the most beautiful views of the Mexican coast I've ever seen and we are at the cliff of a restaurant which is called La Cliff. I don't know if this is because it's August and it's the off season but um, they were really trying to upsell a lot of stuff when we got here. For example the upgraded view with the better view in your private waiter and the surf and turf which sounded really good but we wanted to try different things so um, that's one thing I will say about this restaurant. But otherwise, so far, it's really good. And I spoke too soon. So we actually had a very memorable experience at Le Cliff. The food wasn't our favorite, but definitely presented well and prepared beautifully. 
We ended up getting the seafood tapas and the meat tapas as starters, the pork belly with sweet potato puree, and the beef steak with rustic mashed potatoes as our main entrees. We would probably rate the food a 5 to 6 out of 10. What probably helps increase that score is the insane views and beautiful scenery, but what probably decreases that score is the upselling and constant supervision of the manager. There's no doubt that La Cliff is well loved and a tourist favorite when they visit Puerto Vallarta as they have 2300 reviews on TripAdvisor and all mostly positive ones too. However, due to the heavily upselling, poor experience with the restaurant manager and subpar food, we would not recommend this restaurant and probably won't be returning anytime soon. We understand that taste and experience is subjective and we're sure there are those watching that had an amazing experience. This was just our personal experience and we wanted to be honest and let everyone know so that they can be aware of the possible things that can happen to you. This is definitely an honest review. I definitely would book this place if I wanted to go to a place with a really nice view of a sunset and just have a romantic or just fun evening with friends or family. In terms of food, I would probably pick a different place. Um, pricing wise, a little bit on the pricey side, more like US pricing, but I mean, given the fact that it has this gorgeous view, they are well deserving to have that price tag on their menu, so yeah. To close out our list, we can't have a top unique Puerto Vallarta restaurant video without talking about La Leche. A must eat whenever we visit, La Leche has a class and celebrity style vibe when dining at their restaurant unlike any other. Not to mention the food has always been on point and super delicious. We talk more about La Leche in our top things to do in PV video, so check it out by clicking the link above. Thanks for watching the video. If you've gone to any of these restaurants or you plan on going soon, we want to hear about it. Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button as well. Until next time, I'm PD. And I'm Mike. And thanks, thanks for, for waking, waking up, up with us. us.